Wow, so if you're like me, are you glad 2020 is gone and out of here? Good riddance and go ahead and let that door slam your ass on the way out. Steve Arthur here with your December 2020 real estate report and it is the last one for Long Beach and for the LA County for the year 2020. Thank God. This year was really, really bad, but the one thing that did survive was the real estate market. So some crazy things have been happening in the market as I'm sure you have all been aware. Homes are selling, they're selling fast, and we're gonna go ahead and start with LA County's market report, and then we're gonna go into Long Beach more localized here. Okay, we're well, starting in LA County. So what we're gonna do is start with LA County and get the little more local report for the city of Long Beach. Now, in the month of December, LA County had a whopping 4,592 closed sales. <laughs> that sounds like a bunch, doesn't it? But when you only add to that a new listings of 3,056, that only leaves us with a two month supply. And remember, to be a neutral, happy, healthy market, you need at least a six month supply. So this still leads us into a seller's market. But because of all this weird stuff that it is happening, uh, prices in LA County, the median price, only dropped $5,000. It went from $800,000 down to $795. And like I said, homes are selling fast, where the average day on market for LA County is at 11 days. So when you do put your house on the market, be prepared to move pretty quick. Now, on to Long Beach. So Long Beach, we had 208 closed sales. And combine that with 105 new listings, that only leaves us with a 1.1 month supply of inventory. Meaning this is a true seller's market. There is no inventory out there. And of course the median price did drop somewhat down to 755. But again, if you are gonna be selling your house, be prepared to move quick because the average day on market here in Long Beach is at nine. So basically what does this mean? We are still in a seller's market. Inventory is very, very low. So the buyers don't have a lot to choose from. So we are still in this position. Interest rates are still at a historical low and they are expected to stay here for quite some time too. So if you are planning on buying, now is a good time to buy a home. So if you are thinking about selling your house right now, this is an amazing time to sell your house to receive multiple offers since there is such low inventory, your house will be in demand. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you need any help at all, all my information is down below and I'm here for you anytime that you need. Until next time, you take care and goodbye 2020. That's all folks.